All right, guys, I want to get you back a little later. In the meantime, exactly what is the Japanese word for I'm sorry? Because God knows Toyota's top guys have been saying it enough in English to any congressman or woman who would listen and any potential American buyer who would ever consider buying one of their cars. First up today, Toyota U.S. sales chief James Lentz apologizing for the company's clumsy handling of this recall mess. On the very same day, his boss and Toyota president, Akio Toyota, penned a column regretting the company's breach of trust with American consumers. But sorry will only get you so far with politicians more interested in blood than business. And after today's raucous Toyota teardown in D.C., uh, with more to come, all the apologies in the world won't change things soon. Mark Ragsdale, is author of Car Wreck, says the Toyota won't be able to apologize enough for their way out of this mess. So where does this all go, Mark? I mean, obviously, Akio... Tomorrow, the pressure on him to essentially continue this uh, mea culpa campaign, will it work? Well, I, I don't believe so. I don't, I don't believe sorries are going to be sufficient to deal with the equity loss of everybody driving Toyotas right now through this whole mess. So what happens? Well, already you see that uh, the car Toyotas now going through the uh, wholesale auctions are bringing far less. Toyotas holding their off-lease vehicles for that reason off of the market. They're shutting down plants to curb production, doing everything that they can to uh, mitigate this, last, this lack of resale value that's out on the marketplace right now, uh, while they work on 8 million cars globally. And, uh, you know, apology isn't good enough when a customer is sitting across the table at their car dealership uh, finding out that they need to stretch out the term of their loan or increase their payment to get a new Toyota next time around. Um, you know, Mark, uh, this is a, a very dicey time for Toyota. That's probably a vast understatement on my simplistic mind. But, but uh, I've argued that if, if, if they mishandle the recall, if all of a sudden they're facing a series of class action suits, uh, it could drive them under. Is it that bad? I don't think under is appropriate. They're, they're well healed, but uh, the top spot globally, I think, is gone. In fact, if you look back to November, a, a when Kio you say they're Toyota, well healed, Mark, I'm sorry, well healed enough to with, to absorb hundreds of millions of dollars in, in, in litigation costs. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, they're well healed, and and unlike the domestics, they can curb production and control uh, some of the issues that the that the domestics, GM and Chrysler, couldn't. But in the court of public opinion, unfortunately. Uh, these folks that drive Toyotas have driven them for a reason. They've fallen in love with this uh, quality. And historically, Toyotas had uh, great quality. Um, but that's a but great they, resource they are... to fall back on, is it not? I mean, because I talk to a lot of these loyal owners who say, you know, they still love their cars. They still love their Camrys. They still love their Corollas. And, and, and nothing has dissuaded them of that. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, they're entitled to still love the car, and, and in a lot of cases, they can wait to, uh, to, to uh, get the repair. But you've got 4.6 million jobs out there requiring a half hour's worth of service, uh, and you've got uh, approximately 15,000 Toyota technicians out there. So it's going to take several months to weed through this. In the meantime, yeah. uh, these cars cannot be sold at auction without... Uh, facing massive uh, depreciation consequences, and, and they, they will probably love their car right up to the point when they go to the dealership and try and trade it in, expecting a, uh, to be within equity, uh, uh, to get a decent trade allowance and find out that they owe more on their cars than what they're worth. Interesting. I didn't think of that. That's going to be the, the come to Jesus moment. Uh, Mark uh, Ragsdale in Massachusetts. Thanks. Thank you. What, but is all of this Toyota's fault? Weren't U.S. regulators also to blame for missing all these warnings? Nebraska Republican leaked.